art you see here at the Continuum Heart in Motion Contemporary Fine Arts Gallery has so many stories to tell. Half of the 40 artists represented here either have special needs like autism or Down syndrome, or they faced another huge challenge in life. So we have chronic fatigue syndrome, we have uh, car accidents, child abuse, uh, people that are political refugees. The gallery located off First Avenue South in Pioneer Square was created by Michael Tolson and his partner, Jack Carl Anderson. This is Jack's very first piece ever. Who discovered they could paint not that long ago. Uh, we both started to paint in May or June of 2010. Immediately we could paint. It was crazy. We just picked up a brush, we could paint. In the 16 months Michael has been painting, he's created around 150 paintings, most taking less than two hours. After discovering this new creative gift, the men decided to give back and start an art center for young people with autism. So we thought, oh yeah, we know what autism is about. We saw Rain Man, we can do this. Clueless, I mean, we are so ignorant about the whole thing. But then something unexpected happened. They realized they were relating to the kids, really relating. Immediately when we began to work with them, I really understood them, uh, I really got them. And I couldn't understand why the art mentor and the parents weren't able to hear what to my ears, he was so plainly saying, and to my eyes, what he was so plainly expressing. Jack and Michael discovered they both have forms of autism. Asperger's, uh, we collect information. When I'm talking to you, everything around me I see. I still see people wandering outside. I still see cars going by. I still hear noises. I still see anything that may happen. That's part of the Asperger's. I cannot shut it down. 14-year-old like Casey King is one of the young people Jack and Michael help through their art program called Heart of the Spectrum Autistic Community Art Center. Casey takes classes here at the center located in Georgetown, and some of his art is displayed and sold at the gallery. This is his first, and he evolves. Art is something he is very passionate about. I like it because I do it, period. And, uh, I'm more willing to, you know, lose a limb than stop drawing. And so, for me, it's more of a lifeline. The center offers group classes, or students can get paired up with an art mentor, like Andrew Hare, for one-on-one -on -one help. Andrew heard about the program and thought it would be a natural fit for him to give back. Really rewarding, uh, meeting a lot of interesting people and uh, expanding my own art as well as um, mentoring other kids and um, helping them get their art across. That's where I got my inspiration for it. Casey's Sorry, mom says yeah. the classes and Andrew's mentorship have been amazing for her son. She credits the program, along with the new school for her son, for truly turning his life around. Uh, you know, last year's grades he got, I think, a 3-2 or 3-3 three, three average from, from a failure. So that's huge and his attitude's improved and his understanding of his condition has improved and his willingness to work on the issues. Those issues have become much more bearable for Casey and his family because what they found is the program is not only helping him grow in his art, it's also helping him and so many other young people with autism find their voice. Uh, for some of these young people, is the only way that they have to express whatever they're feeling or whatever they're thinking. If we don't speak with the only medium we have and the only way of acceptance that we have, how will we speak? Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.